Question C is we have 2x squared plus 5x minus 3 over x minus 3. This function has the numerator, which is one degree higher than the denominator, which means we are likely going to get a slant asymptote. So the first thing again I do is I'm going to, going to factor the numerator, and I'm going to see what where my zeros are in the numerator, and I can see where my vertical asymptote is in the denominator. So I'm going to draw my vertical asymptote, establish my zeros at positive one half and negative three. Those are my zeros. And then I'm going to substitute an x equals zero to get my y-intercept. Y-intercept is at positive one. And when I do long division, I'm going to end up with my slant asymptote. So I'm going to divide x minus three into 2x squared plus 5x minus 3. So doing the long division here. So I get negative 11 or positive 11x. So I end up with plus 11. Bring down the minus 3. I get 11x minus 33. So my remainder is positive 30. That means that when I have my slant asymptote, I should have been these, this, along this positive diagonal, which looks like I am. My slant asymptote is y equals 2x plus 11. So it's going to have a slant asymptote kind of in this direction here. And so my graph is going to follow the asymptotes, go through my coordinates. It's going to look like that in that quadrant. I don't have any coordinates in this quadrant here, so I'm just going to draw sketches along the asymptotes like that to show that it exists. And again, if I want more detail, I can plot some coordinates to do that.